everyone, Trina here. Today we're going to be working on a multi-layer jelly print. And right now I'm adding in these Sharpie marks. We're going to take this um, bleached titanium and we're going to spread it over the print. And this is going to be the base, the first layer of our print. Um, we're going to be printing on an 11 by 14 sheet of Reeves BFK. I'm just going back in with a skewer here to add some texture. Um, this is an 11 by 14 sheet of Reeves. This we be putting down here. Take some pencil marks here so I can register it later. And there we have our first layer. Next, we're going. I printed these black shapes off on tissue paper with my jelly print because I wanted to add some bold black marks to it. And we're gonna be doing what is called sheen collé. Um, that is a French word with sheen is a reference to that the thin paper that was originally used with this technique was imported for China and collé means glue. So we're gonna use some matte medium here to glue these down to the piece that we already printed and dried and we're gonna see how this works with some really bold marks and bold shapes. Um, this is the first time that I've ever really done a process like this as far as layering multiple times on the same piece of paper. So it's something that I've been very interested in and I hope that it turns out. <laughs> so here I am putting on some mask and we're gonna be using a transparent color um, called Scarlet Red. This technique um, appears to work best with transparent colors. I have ordered the open landscape, uh, open color landscape paint from Golden. And as soon as I get that, I will make another one of these. So don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, be so you don't miss out. So here we have the mask I'm taking off. And then we're going to take our print and we're gonna print another layer. So it's very important to just, it doesn't take a lot to lightly rub off that paint. And there we have our second layer. I'm gonna go in with another, some more mask. These are just thin, lightly cut pieces of paper and I thought they might be cool to add in um, over the next print. And this is sort of a hit and miss thing, so we'll see what happens. Here we have some circles. So we're gonna use these as mask. And then we're gonna use this yellow okra over top. And you can see that just sort of fell off. So we're just gonna ignore that. Yellow okra over top to, this will be the third layer in our print. And these are going to create some pretty cool looking yellow marks onto our piece. I'm going to peel those up really quickly. Um, when peeling these up, you want to make sure that you're not, I'm using my X-Acto knife, which is probably not the best idea because you don't want to poke through your jelly plate. Um, sometimes I use a palette knife, but today I was using this uh, knife here. So now we're going to lay this down again for the third pass of our print and rub the back gently. And there we have our third print. It's looking pretty good, I think, but I kind of wanted to add in some more solid colors. So here I am adding in with the Caran d'Ache warm colors. I'm gonna add a bits of these orange pieces here. I think that's really gonna make it pop. Um, you can see I've already added in some pink there as well. Um, I just really wanted these to be bright and bring your eye forward a little bit so that it's just not so flat. Um, love these orange and pink colors with the colors that are the colors I already used. Um, you can see that the layers are pretty transparent, but they're not really, I want them to be more transparent. So we will make another one of these later in the week. So here I'm adding in a burnt umber color, um, just a little darker color to kind of play off that red, which got covered up. I did not like the red, so that's probably a good thing. 
that it got covered up. It was a little shocking. And then I'm going to go in with some black and add in some really dark black marks because you all know I love black and it needed a little bit more of the black in the piece. So we're just drawing in, kind of improvising, um, coloring in, adding lines, adding shapes um, to really make this piece pop out and look cohesive. Finishing up here with some black marks and one more little square here at the bottom. And I think we will be done because I want to make sure that you, you know, the black and when adding color, you want to make sure that you add um, it around the piece so it's not all stagnant. Here's the bottom part and you can see that the pink really pops and the oranges really pop. Um, and I'm really liking the top part as well. And this is the final piece. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.